I am the law. Finished printing. I am so excited about this. So this is again printed on my CR10 3D printer. Had a video that I put out just the other day showing an unboxing and a setup and my first impressions of this and I could not be happier with how this has turned out. This was a 42 and a half hour long print. That is almost two full days of 3D printing. I'm using Matter Hackers Pro PLA. It's the Midnight Blue PLA, and the color on this is just absolutely astounding. I cannot believe how nice this has turned out. There is still a few of the little line issues here, the little line breaks in the print on the outside. It doesn't appear to be on the inside, but I have no stringing whatsoever. Uh, or very, very, very faint compared to what I was seeing previously with the Doctor Doom masks that I printed. And by the way, look at size comparison. This is <laughs> nowhere near in terms of size. So I'm gonna try and get this off the bed and the next steps are gonna be to get it cleaned up, but I'll probably try it on first. Pretty much a clean break. I ripped the top of the helmet off. <laughs> See if I can get this off here. So previously this wasn't adhering at all to the glass bed. I was using glass and spray, uh, not spray paint. I was using glass and hairspray previously. It just was not the sticking very well, the wraps and, or not the wraps, the support material. And it was coming undone when I was doing the printing, so I threw down some tape to see how that would go. Yeah, this is stuck a little too well, but I can't get this off. There we go. My little dredge, Judge Dredd yarmulke. Nice. It's kosher, you know? This is a kosher, a kosher dread helmet. Oh no! <laughs> All right, and here it is. The Dread Helmet is finally completed and off the bed. There was a few issues there where I had to re-glue the front piece here. Also, the top of the helmet came off when I took it off the bed, so I glued that back down. I am seeing some, some seam slippage, I guess you could call it, on the top and in a few areas on the outside perimeter of the helmet. If I look on the inside, it really doesn't look too bad. I'm not really seeing the seams like I am on the outside, and again, it's nowhere near as bad as what I was seeing on some of the other prints that I had done. So it's, it's gotten a lot better. What I'm gonna be doing next on this is really just going in and starting to file down some of the rough edges here where it's, uh, I've got a little bit of a, some, maybe it's an overhang or just where it left the, this section to come over to this section. So there's a, some little sharp pieces, very minimal cleanup on this, I would say. And then I'll apply some XTC 3D and maybe some wood filler on the top here to actually get this sealed up and then off and painted. And then I'm gonna figure out how I'm actually gonna do the visor. So most important here is Let's put it on and check it out. I did stick a piece of foam up there so it wasn't uh, hanging so much on my head. This helmet is supposed to be a bit oversized compared to other helmets. It's not a snug fit. It's designed that you should have some foam in there. So overall, I'm really liking the size, the default size. I did not rescale this, didn't do anything with it. I just basically took Carmelo's file and printed it. If you are interested in printing your own Dread Helmet like this one here, check out the link down below. I'll include a link to Carmelo's Patreon page. If you're a Patreon member or subscriber to his page, you can actually access the files that he creates, like the Batman helmet, like his Batman gauntlets and chest piece, as well as this Dread Helmet that he designed. It's a great file to work with, super easy to work with, I should say, and printed a great printed really, really well here on the CR10, my newest printer. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out that video. I'll include a link for that as well. But hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. I am the law. Make sure you subscribe. Check out some of these other videos if you haven't already. I don't think a judge has ever said, 
subscribe and it really hurts to talk like this and my my mouth feels weird <laughs> thanks for watching you guys